So DJ Clark Kent is saying that Dr. Dre's The Chronic isn't a classic album. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So during a sit down with Angie Martinez, he made the claims while breaking down Biggie's success with his first album, Ready to Die. As he began naming artists that have made classic albums, Angie Martinez mentioned The Chronic, which prompted him to discuss his viewpoint of it not being classic material. Because if you look at every album that you think is a classic album, like the real classics, the, the, the NWA, the Ice Cube, the Snoop Dogg first album, the Child Called Quest joint, Slick Rick's album. Chronic. Chronic. I, don't, I can't even put the Chronic before I put Snoop Dogg's album. But I know, it's debatable. I Snoop, mean, for some. Snoop Dogg's album's better than the Chronic. Anyway, it definitely is. That's not even a question. But, 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 but <laughs> what I'm saying is, if you take a second and listen to all of those albums, Reasonable Doubt, Life After Death, Ready to Die, they're the same album. All of these albums do the same thing. They begin, they hold you in the middle, they hug you, and then they end. That's what classic albums do. But you gotta have great songs that make that thing happen. If you don't, you get one song that doesn't hit properly, you done took yourself out of the classic thing. Because if you can skip, you ain't got a classic. Mm. That's why I won't say The Chronic is a classic because I can skip RBX. Although he is on the fence about The Chronic, the album did boast timeless records such as Let Me Ride, Bitches Ain't Shit, and Nothing But A G Thing. But what do you think about DJ Clark Kent saying that Dr. Dre's The Chronic isn't a classic album? Do you agree or disagree? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.